I'm doing something that every Blender artist thought was impossible. Rendering a super realistic scene on Android in cycles faster than you've ever seen before. This isn't just a test. It's a race against time to see what can be achieved on Blender on Android. We're going to do the unthinkable. We're going to render a cycle scene on Android using Blender. You think it's impossible? Well, think again. We're talking about the fastest cycles render ever on Android device. I'm going to blow your mind with the power of Blender on Android. With all the bells and whistles. And we're going to do it all on a device with great CPU. I'll be pushing the limits of Blender on Android and showing you what's possible with the right tools and techniques. Well, this is just six settings that you can change to get fast render in cycles. Up next is noise threshold. The most important settings in Blender cycles, noise threshold. This setting can make or break your render times. The noise threshold setting controls the amount of noise that's allowed in your render. A default starting point for noise threshold is around 0.1 to 0.01, but you can adjust this setting to boost your render time more faster than before. One thing to keep in mind is that noise threshold works best when combined with other sampling settings, like the number of samples and the sampling method. So be sure to experiment with different combinations to find what works best for you. Then you can also reduce your samples for fast render time, but not too much so Blender won't stop early on this. By adjusting the noise threshold setting, you can significantly speed up your render times and get the results you need. So change this default settings from 0.01 to 0.04. This threshold is so low that it even dose nothing because you hit your max samples before you hit the threshold. And the next one, you simply change it from 0.1 to 0.3, cause this is pretty much good, because this settings increase your project 64% faster render time. After dealing with noise threshold, light pads is also a most key factor to consider to change when looking for settings to speed up your render time. To achieve fast render times in Blender, consider the following settings and techniques for light pads and indirect light. Lowering the max bounces setting can significantly reduce render times. So go to Render, on Render Properties set total max bounce to 8, and scroll down to Clamping and set your indirect light to 3.0, and you can also remove Glossy if you don't need it on your scene, maybe you don't have that on your project. By applying these settings and techniques, you can achieve faster render times while maintaining good image quality. Moving from the light path settings, the next way to speed up your render time in Blender is to use Fast G Approximation. This feature allows you to approximate global illumination in your scene, reducing render time. With Fast GI Approximation enabled, Blender will use a faster method to calculate global illumination, resulting in faster render time. Fast GI approximation can significantly reduce render times, especially in scenes with complex lighting. To enable Fast GI approximation, go to the Render Properties tab and scroll down under Light Paths and look for the Fast G approximation setting, and enable this. So with Fast GI approximate enable, your render time is decreased by whooping 68%. For the key settings to change to get fast render time on Blender, up next is the most important thing you must do which is, persistent data. When you start rendering a scene in Blender, you may notice that this doesn't start right away. It first kick off some calculations, and if you are rendering an animation, Blender will repeat this for every frame despite nothing you've been loaded. So what you need to do is to go to Render, on Render Properties, on Performance, and under Final Render, enable Persistent Data. This now store all of that pre-render information into your memory so it can reuse in next frame. This is the one of the biggest optimization you can do to get fast render time mostly when rendering animation. Talking about all the key fact for optimization of render time in Blender, texture limit is a must thing to take note about. Texture limits allow you to control how much texture memory Blender uses, which can help speed up render time. By setting a texture limit, you can reduce the amount of memory Blender uses for textures. This can help reduce render time, especially when working with large textures or complex scenes. To set a texture limit, go to the Render Properties tab under Simplify. Here you can find the texture limit setting. Then you set this to 2048. What this do? It will automatically reduce those baked textures and render time. This will at least bring everything back to normal so you get some other benefits. After giving 5 tips to do for fast render time on Blender. And here we go. Simplify Geometry. If you're downloading random 3D model from the internet and importing them into your scene, you might unknowingly import a model with more destiny than the sun. All of this polys here mean that Blender has to work extra hard to load them into the memory and calculate all the lights and everything else. So, a quick solution to dense geometry is to use the decimate modifier. If you now set the ratio a little bit low, it'll now render 63% faster with no difference in quality. 
So those are my top 6 render hacks. And if you like this video like, and hit the subscribe button so you can see more of this. And I see you there.